demonstrate that your body gives out information involuntarily, I'm going to ask you a series of questions, just normal general questions. Uh, take all the time you need to answer these questions. I must insist though that you do not move any part of your body which includes your eyes and hands and head and feet and all those things when you are giving these answers. No movement of any kind. What part of the city do you live in? I live across Puget Sound. Name of the city? Near Bainbridge Island. The name of the city? The name of the city is Suquamish. And do you live on a street, a cul-de-sac? I live on a street. No movement, please. Fingers count as movement, too. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. And when was the last time you saw it? I saw blue on a piece of clothing I had earlier today. Okay. Is that the shade of blue that is your favorite color? It is. Okay. And did you take the bus here or drive or how did you get here? I took a ferry and then I walked. Um, approximately how many people were on the ferry? This time of day it was about maybe 200. And is that 200 a, just a guess, or did you actually stop to count them roughly when you were on the ferry? No, it was a guess. I, I know what a full boat looks like. It was not a full boat. I'll guess 200 people. Okay. Do you live in a house or an apartment? No, I live in a house. And who lives next door to you? On one side is a couple. Actually, on both sides are couples. Couples in both houses next to me. Do they have kids? I think they have grown kids. The kids are long gone. What colors are their cars? On one side, their color, the color of their car is black. The other side of the, uh, the other house is uh, a purple, kind of a dark purple. What was the color of the first car you ever owned? The first car I ever owned was green, a green Volkswagen. What shade of green? I'm sorry? What shade of green? It's a dark forest green. That's a nice color. I used to have a car of that color. What would be your second car's color? Still on me. I think the second car I had was black. It was an old, old, old truck. You said you think. You're not sure? You can't read? I remember that was the second car of the third. I think it was the second vehicle. It was an old truck I had. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. I had specifically asked for him not to move any part of his body and as you can see as he answers the questions and as hard as he's trying to remain still his eyes and his hands, his left foot, his right foot they move involuntarily even though when he's trying to make a conscious effort for them not to do so. You went to Mexico or was it New Mexico? New Mexico. And you drove? Twice. And what's the best thing you remember seeing on the way there? Moab was really beautiful in Utah. Ooh, what was beautiful about it? The bright red rocks. Is that where there's a big bicycle race that takes place, I think? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. No body movements, please. What's your favorite outfit? Sorry? What is your favorite outfit? I don't think I have one. You have no favorite outfit? I have a lot of clothing. Well, what just... about a favorite pair of shoes? I have boots, black boots. I've never met a woman who did not have a favorite pair of shoes. So, black boots, how high do they go? To my knees. Have you ever wondered if you would want the same boots in red? No. You wouldn't want it or you've never wondered? Never wondered, wouldn't want it. Okay. Is that to do with the color red or is it got to do with the boots? Yes, color. Color. You hate red? I wear black mostly. What about pink? No. 
What do you mean no? I wouldn't buy pink boots. You wouldn't buy pink boots? No, I didn't mean that. I meant, how do you feel about the color pink? It's a nice color. I don't wear it very often. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Diana was asked to remain still, and she did her best. Yet when you look closely, you will see her hands, thighs, eyes, and head move on many occasions. You would also notice a big gulp uh, when I was talking to her about the shoes. And this is from somebody who was doing her best to remain still. Once again, the body language that you observe is involuntary and if you can couple it with the recognition of how the information is processed internally, you will gain a lot of very valuable information. Diana is demonstrating various facial expressions, eye movements, and body positioning. You may not be able to decode what each of these movements means for her and for you. However, simply drawing on your own experience, you can tell that these positions, these postures and movements carry different information. So as the various stages of human information processing system takes place internally, the body gives clear and categorical clues externally. Of course, the challenge is to learn how to decode these clues as quickly as possible and, of course, as accurately as possible.